So it's not like a replay type of video. No, it's just blurry and you have to accept it or decline. Deep down inside, you know it's like a dick no. pic or some shit. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yo, I don't want to see your pee pee. You're not getting away, so bro. <laughs> do you think in this era, 2022, do you think social media ruined dating? For the men that are overprotective with their female, I think it did because even in my experience, I had an ex that he will get mad if I post certain type of things. And I'm like, <clears throat> I've been doing this. You know what I mean? Like, we don't pay attention to the DMs unless it has to do with business or you come correct or with no disrespect because there's a lot of disrespectful men out there. If I'm in a relationship, I'm not going to reply to the disrespectful messages. For the guys out there at home, just, you know, shooting their shots, you know, hell marrying it. What are things that you do not want to read? You know, like like teach them game. Like, what are disrespectful messages? First of all, if you're going to send a fucking picture or a video and then the message request says accept or decline, bro, we're not accepting. At least I'm not accepting because I don't know what the fuck I'm going to see. What It says like video is like... Oh, so it's like you have to accept it. Over, yeah. Over, oh shit. Okay. Yeah, that's wild. So it's not like a replay type of video. No, it's just blurry, and you have to accept it or decline. Oh, so deep down inside, you know, it's like a dick no. pic or some shit. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yo, I don't want to see your pee pee. You're not get away, so bro. <laughs> uh, all right, so like, all right, so what other type of disrespectful messages do you do you receive? Let's say that, talking like, about like what I would do to you, um, I'll bend you over and then shit, and shit like that. Like, all right, it's so just, you're not gonna get a reply. Like, I get it. Yeah, like I listen. If I was a girl, I w I would feel turned off. I'll yeah, be haram, it's right? wild because they're gonna hit up every other bitch they see. Right. Every other female not bitches females mm. that they see they're gonna hit them up and be do the same shit probably copy and paste the message you know what i mean like it's just i was literally gonna say the same thing <laughs> <laughs> all right so those those guys that they're doing it wrong and this is 2022 how are you supposed to slide into the dms like for for the guys out there like what are you supposed to do then if you know we're in the we're in the era where you want to spit game in the dms on instagram in the in the direct messages on tiktok like what what would be acceptable for you debbie i mean for me i respect the honesty it's my decision if i want to reply or not because hay mucha bellaquita por ahí que si le dice mira yo quiero hacer vainita contigo va a decir oh este tigre se ve bien y vamos a hacerlo but me like just come correct you know I'm saying no disrespect I respect the honesty though that's one thing like oh this nigga had the balls to tell me like he want to bend me over oh okay mm. but I'm not gonna reply like let me play devil's advocate okay so social media and dating there's a lot of women out there that let's say expose themselves a lot and the men who let's say are ready to tie a girl down and wife them up put a ring on it because that's what women want at the end of the day that's how they win right they win the game by the by the ring if you want the man yeah, yeah, i gotta course, rephrase if, if, if you want, if you want the man if, if yeah. you want them can you arguably say that men do not want a woman exposing her body on instagram if or you, on tiktok if you don't understand what it is yeah because men that were born in a different era because me i like older men like they can't be my same age and older men they would be like oh like i don't understand this tiktok vibe i don't understand this instagram thing like you're doing what's the, you what's the to... age on that i'd say like 30 and up okay they don't understand okay continue because um us younger people we've been on instagram without thinking what we're doing before posting it we'll just do it right there and post it right there but they don't understand that and um I don't know. It's just, it is what it is. So let's make up this hypothetical world where you find the man of your dreams. You find, do you like white guys, Spanish guys, African-American guys, Asian guys? I, I don't have a type. It's, a, it's about the vibe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the person with the vibe. Okay. The person <laughs> with the vibe. The guy with the vibe. Let's say, for example, the guy with the vibe slide into your DMs. You entertain them, da da da, da et cetera. But that's the thing. Like... The thing about me is not about the DMs. It's about meeting in person and actually vibing with the person. Because in DM, like, there was one time I went viral on YouTube when it first started. And I was getting so much Facebook messages. And I had a boyfriend at that time. And he went through my messages. And he was like, you don't reply to any of them? 
why me i'm like i met you in person we went to school together like together and everything and it's not about the dms i don't even click the fucking picture because it's just like all right l- let me push back a little bit so before you said a few minutes ago you kind of said we're in an era where everything was in social media since everything everyone is in social media and let's say a gen z person who was born yes i i believe gen z people are 98 99 you guys are not 90s <laughs> kids okay you guys grew up in the 2000s Let's let's keep it G. You guys are not 90s kids. All right. So let's say a 97, 98, 99 kid slide into the DMs or they ha- at the end of the day, they have to slide into the DMs. How are they going to connect with you? You want to work? Let's work. But I can't date somebody that's my age or younger. Oh, so you, you, need, you need an older man. Yeah, because my mentality, once the person really gets to know me, is not a 23 year old, 24 year old mentality. Mm i can't deal with the immaturity like i can't so what's the minimum let's say what's the minimum minimum would be like 33 34 Mm. and what do you look for what do you look for in the man besides the vibe you got the vibe okay you got the vibe you got the tingle you know Uh, what else eh? You got the vibe. We we get along. We could joke together. We could be weird together. You could show. It's not weak if you show me your goofy side. You know what I mean? Like, I love that because we could, like, make jokes around the house and laugh around the house. Mm. But having a front and just sitting there like, you the man, like, you about to be president tomorrow. Like, I can't fuck with that. I have to be able to, like, see the real you and see, like, the the side you think is weak. You know what I mean? To show. Like, your boys could see you as, like, yo, that's my nigga, bro. Like, he fuck bitches, all that shit. But I want to see the the side of you that's goofy, that you don't show around your boys type of thing. And I like a guy that's about his shit. You know what I mean? Because there's some guys that don't want to do shit. They just want to smoke and lay all day. Like, I can't fuck with that. Like, I need to be doing something every day. And if I could do something every day with that person and I could or push them to be better and you push me to be better. But don't try to put me down and me try to push you to do better. It is it's not even. You know what I mean? Now, that perfect man that you just described <laughs> sounds perfect in 2022. Perfect. Yeah, I guess. That perfect man. What do you think that perfect man is looking for in a girl? Now, now, in this day, in this era, 2022. What he could look for in a perfect girl would be a great connection, support in what he do, and somebody will take care of the house. Because I'm not about to sit here and say that I need a nigga that don't give a fuck about nothing. The house going to be dirty. I'm not going to fucking cook and period. Like, I'm going to do all that. I'm going to cater to my man, but I'm not going to kiss ass. That's like two different things. I'll cater to my man, but I'm not going to kiss ass. Like if you demand something and you treat me like shit, you're not going to get shit because there's no connection there. Mm. Yes. So uh, that's the only thing that perfect man that you just described would be looking for. I mean, great connection, support, cater to him. He's going to get the massages. He's going to get the dinner, the breakfast, all that. He's going to get the cleaning. He's going to get the support. He's going to get the genuine friend. Mm. But I need the same thing back. At least the support, the genuine friend, the connection. 